Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the German Reich veteran difficulty. It is 1943, the Soviet front is interesting looking, to say the least. We pushed pretty aggressively into the east. The south uh, didn't start that well, but it's gotten a lot easier now, unfortunately, the support area. But we will be able to utterly dismantle and destroy all those divisions. Our units are just better, and we're kind of just really aggressively pushing in and annihilating them. Japan is pushing a teensy tiny bit, but not really getting a huge amount. Um, the key thing... Oh, God, look at all these... Damn it. Oh, no, that's, that's not that. Sorry. It's because our flag is so similar. So they're trying to sink our stuff, but thankfully our naval bombers are destroying. Uh, the Greek front is finally basically done. Pretty much, anyway. Those troops are moving over there to reinforce the front. Finland's not involved, are they? No, they are not. Fantastic. The key thing is this front. It is our push into America. Now, it's actually going rather well. We are The reinforcements really, really helped. We are now attacking into Montreal, which is a great. Oops, a daisy. Uh, our tanks are actually being able to do actually anything, which is amazing. Their tank divisions are not good enough to pierce our units, so uh, we are doing a lot of damage with them. And I'm just about to encircle all of these divisions if we can make sure we can do the push through from Boston. I'm thinking to send an additional five units. Uh, I am currently reinforcing them. I'm currently moving these guys to Bordeaux. And by moving them to Bordeaux, my hope is that then what will happen is that then I can move them to America. Troops are kind of... To be honest, the Soviet front doesn't really require much, uh, much micromanagement. I've got them on aggressive. Thank God for the patch that added the aggressive feature. So I don't necessarily have to do a lot anymore. Yes, I am suffering more casualties when I try to do so uh, by ignoring it. I'm sure I could do it better if I just, like, really precisely managed it. But I feel like I'm just going to have more fun if I do this. No, I meant to go to Bordeaux, not to the other province around it, you douche. Come on. Hooray. Okay. So, then we're going to move these guys to the next nearest port, which is actually Boston. That's great. And we have free military factories. Very large amount. We are actually overproducing on all of our equipment, which is great. But unfortunately, we need more fighters. We basically always need more fighters. So, how many carriers do we have now? We actually haven't built any yet, to be honest. That's okay. <gasps> oh, we got Montreal. Yes. Thank God. All right, now it's just a push to make Canada capitulate, basically. Hooray! Now it's just a push. So, let these guys rest a little bit. Can you guys, can you take that? Oh, no you cannot. No, 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 no. Okay, so. Can we use the tanks to attack these guys? How many do they got? A lot of infantry units. But they basically are unable to do any damage. So they basically receive no attacks. And they have stacking penalty. And they have enemy air superiority penalty. Hmm. I think this can work. And they have a lot of divisions. The hope, however, is that by taking this, they will start to become surrounded. We're going to move an additional infantry division over here to defend. And once that happens, they will become encircled, and then we can start killing them. Really should guard this area as well. And hey, removing any number of units is is a, a bonus. So, <clears throat> pardon me. Oh no, they can't actually win that battle. That's fine. That's fine. Let's not go too far. So the northern front's a bit exposed. Maybe we'll pull them back a little bit. Good show. Holding on to Boston, because it's really important to maintain that port. Let's send our tanks up here. That's going to be far better for us. You can also attack from multiple directions to get that additional bonus. Attacking from multiple directions helps reduce a large percentage of their innate bonuses in defense. It's a slow press. I mean, the only way we're, we're, to take Canada, we're going to need to obviously go to Ottawa. 
but then we're just basically gonna have to grab as many go down to here and just grab all the this and then they'll capitulate it's gonna take a bloody long time though uh america's the problem i believe we need all of these and all of these and we have to start moving down here it's gonna take a while it's gonna be a slow crawl oh look at that encirclement how many do we catch oh, only two Yeah, look at this. This is a big aggressive push, isn't it? What's this? What is this? Okay, that's a bit odd. But all right. We got some resistance, but it's not that big a deal. I don't really care about it, to be honest. We don't need the factory production right now. It's too much bother. Right, let's just check. Are they encircled currently? Do they have, they're not out of supply. That's a shame. That's a shame. Come on, die already. Just got to keep the attacks going. Hey, look at that. They took it. Oh, amazing. Whoa. Okay. It's just kind of this gradual push, isn't it? And then we attack from multiple directions. The key thing is attacking from multiple directions. And it's also in... Ooh, hit the microphone. It's also in chasing units as they come. Because by chasing them, like, you know, you just completely push people off. And there's nothing they can do, really. What is with this infrastructure damage? Hey, look at that. More ground gained. Start to think we need to increase the... Uh... Oh, we're fine. Ah, it's because we don't actually own that area yet. That's all right. Uh, come on, they've taken. They've done so much damage. Why aren't they just dying? There's twelve divisions in this thing. Let's try that again. There we go. Thank you. That will encircle them nicely. Perfect. Keep it coming, baby. Oh, yes. Look at that. They will become completely encircled and be destroyed. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's a lot of defensive stuff going on right here. Ah, so we can't really push back further here. That's a shame. Reinforcements. Okay, it's fine. So we're just gonna let them become out of supply for a while. Oh wow, we are destroying these guys. What the hell? If we can move to Providence, we can completely annihilate them. Oh my god. That'd be fantastic. And again, they are basically unable to do anything. I'm glad I'm doing this in my own way. If we can take Providence, like, oh, they've got a port there as well. Lame. Still, though. It's a good plan. Oh, there we go. Ah, our towed artillery apparently is very low. Hmm. That seems odd. Why do we have so... Like, we have so many towed anti-tanks. How, how, how many do we actually have stored? We have 2.2k. I think we can get rid of one of these. And replace it with another towed artillery. Good stuff. Yeah, we didn't actually have any, if any, what the hell? Oh no, we got one. We, no, we have two filled ones actually. So that's fine. That'll be perfect. So this is a very slow crawl towards victory. Well, it's gonna take a while. These guys are taking a long time as well. Oh God. Could you not try and take my troops, please? There we go. Whew. We'll just take this board as well. Hooray. 
Really need those Boston reinforcements. There we go. God damn, this is too difficult. We need so many things. So we're close to atomic research yet. We haven't really done that yet, so that's good. Ooh, look at this. How close is the Soviet Union to, to capitulating? Not very close, actually. Still quite a while to go. Alright, I think the key thing is we have to take uh, Stalingrad, because it's 30 points. Mm. I actually don't think it really matters too much. Like, these guys are just kind of kicking ass. Perhaps we should assign them to this line. And have them take Stalingrad. Yay! Push. I mean, it's 13 divisions. That's quite a large. Oh, no, sorry, that's Stalingrad. That's Stalingrad. Wait, what? Oh, that's Stalino, which is somehow different. There's actually quite a lot of towns here. There's actually about 15 points. How much is this one? There's 16. And there's Moscow. Yeah, there's about 70, 70 victory points so far. All of Moscow. There it is. Thick building spoke from the many fires raging the suburbs could be seen rising in the air. Oh, yes. That's how you do it. Wow, they lost 2.1 million units. That's pretty terrible. I've almost lost a million soldiers to this. Holy shit. That's terrible. Thank God for the might of German infantry. <clears throat> Alright, how are we doing? Uh-oh. That's not good. They pushed us in. Um, hmm. Okay, so that's actually fine. We still have a connection. Whew, this is not easy. If we could, can we, can we do this? Oh, that's actually blocked. Awesome. Are they finally encircled or something? Because it'd be really nice if they were encircled at last. Excellent, they're low supply. And we'll send one over there, and that should give them encirclement penalty. Nope, they don't have a circle penalty. Okay. Whatever, apparently. Oh, this is all they have? It's just Marines? You serious? Hey, alright. That's the stuff. And then they'll get a circle penalty, and we can kill them as well. I mean, it is a little troubling. What's the problem, people? Ah, oh, that's a shame. I think we need to, to change the front a little bit, don't we? Next front. Push aggressively. Seriously though, kill Soviet Union. Let's just get this war over with. They're done. Stick a fork in them. Ooh, more factories. Wow, look at all that oil we're using. That's terrible. And more and more reinforcements keep arriving. Okay, so we lost three. Ah, look at that. Now they'll just slowly, slowly die. We can just wipe out some of their divisions. Just solidify this, and then we can push them out. I mean, would this work if I did this? Somewhat. It somewhat works. It's just a really, like, finickety thing. You gotta just, like, bit by bit push them back. So can we, can we take Ottawa, please? Oopsie doozy. Whoops. No, no. Stay in Providence, please. I really would like the US to capitulate. It's going to take so much pushing, though. How about here? Can we do this? Mm, that river put crossing penalty is a bit of a bitch. But they're medium tanks. They, they don't even take damage from them, for God's sake. 
So that's pretty good. That could work. Might work. We could take him. Ah. They appear to be moving forward. Now we kill them. Oh, look at that. Encirclement and low supply. Okay, so then now they're now channeling. Oh, it worked. Okay. That's cool. Nice. Cool. Keep them occupied. Okay, maybe just hold them back. Oh, they're still not low supply. How are they not low supply yet? It's bullshit. Who the hell is singing outside my window, for God's sake? I better not be being serenaded again. I I do hope that's not my phone is not being picked up by that, but there... What the hell is that? That would be the Rhapsody Girls back again. Oh, good. I have performers outside my window currently trying to perform a beautiful siren serenade. I assume, I assume to inform them how much I, they love me. That's a shame. God damn it. Talk about professionalism in recording. Wait, what? Did they just retreat? Kinda looks like they just retreated. How the hell are these guys not out of supply yet? It's been... Like, I think they got additional bonuses so they're out of supply. Oh, look at that. We killed them. Nice. That is the stuff. Once we get rid of these units, we can start dogpiling down south. Oh, hey, we took it. That's the stuff. Holy shit, how do we do that? Okay, can't do that either. That's fine. No, another blonde knight of Germany. What will I do without my blonde knight? Just wait for this unit to go, and then dogpile. Oof. Get wrecked, guys. Just gonna send additional divisions, all to take Ottawa, because screw Ottawa. What? I thought we killed him. Alright, now surely. They're still not encircled. Are you freaking kidding me? Alright, let's just do this one. This one has to be encircled. There's no way this one's not gonna be encircled. And out of supply. Oh wow, they really didn't take that, did they? Alright, how's Russia going? Pretty? Pretty goddamn well, actually. Hmm. Front's kind of exploding a little bit. I think the key thing is the fact that we got the Persians to attack. And so, look how many divisions the Soviets... Ha oh my god. 30, 47... There's at least 70 Soviet divisions fighting here instead of on my front. That's incredible. We just re that, that, that probably won us this war. Like, I think it may, I mean, there may have been some issue of closeness, because, like, I mean, we are wrecking them. But those 90 divisions on this front would have destroyed me. Yeah, maybe not destroyed me, but it would have done some slight damage. There we go. That's what I want to see. Who are these guys? Oh, I've got, I've got a whole, what is this? Oh my god, look, I've got 12 infantry divisions, 4 motorized, and 4 medium tanks right here. I'm just gonna send them all the way to Stalingrad. Nice. Under a good general, too. Commando, Mountaineer, Trickster, Engineer. Shit. My man. Oh, and they took Boston. Okay. Could you not? God damn it, I should have been paying more attention. Oh, we took Ottawa! Again, pay more attention, please. What the shit? That is a lot of infantry div uh, divisions. Please, sir. Uh, no. Not like this. Oh dear. <laughs> this is getting harder and harder to deal with. Why can't we kill these guys? Liberia has capitulated. I don't even know where that is. 
Okay, well, we can't do that, apparently. Come on, kill them. Oh, wow. Okay. We really, I think what we think is we need the divisions in Providence and Boston. That's the problem here. There we go. Uh oh. Ah, we left a gap. We left a gap, left a gap. Stop the gap. Oh, oh no, they're actually attacking now. Oh wow, they're actually coming back, aren't they? Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, whoa, where'd they get these many divisions? <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, Canada has literally two divisions now. So that's... That's something. But America... Has about a hundred and... Well, 200 divisions. Oh god, okay. No, no, not everyone. No, I don't want everyone to retreat. Oh, but... This game. I swear to Christ. Oh, shit. Oh, they're still like a full offensive, aren't they? Wow. Okay. That's not cool. Oh, if we do this, we get, we get an airport if we do this. Shite. This is dangerous. Oh god, kill them all, please. This is dangerous. There's actually some significant issues here. Um, well, I mean, when we win the Soviet War, we can just start dropping troops over from that area. God, the Soviet Union's taking a bloody long time to capitulate, though, isn't it? How's these 24 are going? They are taking their time. Out of supp- why, why are they low supply? Bullshit. Ah, oh, that's right, they got no attack. Come on. Come on. You could just wreck them, that'd be super duper. There you go, who's a good boy? There we go, attack from multiple directions, get all those tasty benefits. And then we aggressively attack. Okay, cool. So we've done a pretty good pretty good push into the Soviet Union. I think we're doing quite well. The issue, of course, is America. So what's going to happen is I think I need to now start making more invasions. I need to open up a second front. Maybe around Norfolk or something, or around here. Just out of the range that they'll be able to defend. I don't know. Because, I mean, we have a lot of, a lot of true... Okay, we are now completely encircled. I did not intend that. It would appear that the US has magicked up a bunch of divisions. So in the next episode, we'll try and fight that and deal with that situation. So I was Aldrin, I'll continue to be. Oh God, why, why has this happened? And, uh, oh God, this is Hearts of Iron. I'll see you next time. Is this gonna work? Oh God, am I actually gonna lose? Nah, I'm sure it's fine. All right, bye.